Limpopo's economic recovery from the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent lockdowns topped Premier Sten Matabata's priority list during his State of the Province address. He announced an economic recovery plan estimated at 170 billion rand. Matabata says the multi-million rand Musina Makado Special Economic Zone will finally come into fruition this year. The zone is at the center of the province's job creation drive. Matabata has also reiterated his government's commitment to clean governance and consequence management. We have already started, we have already uh, instructed that those whom they say we must charge, the process has already started. In this regard, we will work with the National Prosecuting Authority to support all envisaged prosecutions of wrongdoers. We will support the asset for future unit in their mandated task of recovering every single cent which was stolen from our government. We will ensure all recommended disciplinary proceedings take place swiftly and without undue delays. No one will be shielded from accountability and resultant consequences. The EFF is, however, not convinced about Matabata's commitment to fighting corruption. Corruption, he says nothing. That's, and that's why I even stood up. I was trying to remind him, when you are talking about corruption, at least tell the people of Limpopo how many are behind bars because of your commitment to a clean government. Because he's slowly like that, he even came with a pillow here. He could not uh, read between the lines. Since 2013, when he was in to date, he can't point to you a person that says, because our efforts of to clean towards clean governance, this is what we have done. These people have, uh, this is how much we have recovered from these people. The DA has called for the SIU report to be made public. What we would like to see is to support him, but uh, avail those reports to the public, avail those reports to the members of the legislature, and also avail the 2.1 billion rand irregular expenditure in role that were completed in December. The sober debate is scheduled for next Tuesday. Piman Baloi, SABC News, Lebo Homo in Limpopo.